Well, hello, sports fans. This is Larry Eater here for Run Blog Run. This is our day by day review of the 2022 World Athletics Outdoor Championships being held at the U University of Oregon in Eugene, Oregon, for the first time in the United States ever, ever, ever. Yay! Um, the crowds in the evening session are rocking. Uh, the crowds in the morning will get better each day and we will do reviews of each session for your viewing pleasure. We have a sponsor, Koros. They're a performance sports technology company that do killer sports timing and training products, and they have a brand new training site, coros.com, check it out. My buddies who have tried the, the sports timing devices, which I call watches, love them, covet them, they think they're right. Emma Coburn is using it. Emma Bates is using it. Jeffrey Kim Warrer is using it. Elliot Kipchoge is using it. Why don't you? So thanks again to Koros for coming on board as a sponsor of our World Championships coverage. And I hope you enjoy our reviews. Hey, sports fans, Larry Eater here. 2022 World Athletics Outdoor Championships. And what a day. Um, we're going to start with the 35K, which happened in the morning. Kimberly Garcia Leon. Yes, that Kimberly Garcia Leon, who gave Peru their first gold medal in World Championships, the 20K, came back and won the 35K in 239.16, a championship record. Katasina Ziblo from Poland, who was also the silver medalist of the 20K, was second place in the 35K, a PB of 240.03, and she beat the London 2012 winner at 20K, Xi Jinping of China, 240.37, an area record. And Antoni Trimis Piotti from Greece, 241.58, a national record in fourth. Raquel Gonzalez from Spain, 242.27, and Laura Garcia Caro from Spain, 242. 45. So the 35K is a new distance. They used to have the 50K race walk. Uh, now they've brought it down to 35K. Um, it was on a 1K loop. Uh, incredible. Think about that. <laughs> 80 turns. Um, but it gave judges a chance to really watch the race. And they're trying to elevate the walks again. Kimberly Garcia Leon, what a star. I mean, I tell you, Peru's got two world championship medals thanks to her. And it's pretty exciting. Uh, and I'm very happy for uh, Peru. I think it's over 42 countries now that have won um, medals and uh, pretty impressive. Men's pole ball qualifying opened the evening session on day eight. And Mondo de Plantis uh, was there. Renola Villanay was there. Tiago Braz da Silva was there. Uh, Renola Villanay, I think I've said. Yeah, so... We had a good crew. Chris Nielsen is looking good. So that men's pole vault final will be pretty special. Now we get to the 4x100 relays. Guess what? Women U.S. did not drop the baton, and they led the qualifying with 41.56. Great Britain and Northern Ireland, 41.99. Jamaica, 42.37. They had some uh, soppy handoffs there. Germany, 42.44. Spain, 42.61. Nigeria, 42.68. Italy, national record, 42.71. And Switzerland qualified at 42.73. Um, the finals will be on Saturday, and uh, it should be really interesting. So the men's four by one was wonderful. Uh, the U.S. team of Christian Coleman, Noah Lyles, Elijah Hall, and Marvin Bracey, 37-87, a world leader. Great Britain was second in 38-49. Ghana was third, uh, quite impressive. In Heat 2, it came down to, well, France won, and uh, they had uh, in 38-09, Canada, 38 10 under de Gras anchored South Africa 38 31, Jamaica 38 33. They had some sloppy handoffs, and Brazil uh 38 41. Spain was sixth and 38 70. If the U.S. can get the baton around the track, which I think they will be able to do, um, it should be pretty incredible.
We're now going to go to the women's semifinals in the 800. And was that a tasty series of races? Mary Mora, the find from Kenya over the last couple of years, 159.65, led the whole way. Aji Wilson, 159.97. And Adele Tracy, who competed for Great Britain, now she's competing for Jamaica. Her father's Jamaican, went to uh, 0021. She did not move on. Gemma Riki did not move on either in fifth place. Um, in the second semifinal, it was the Keeley Hodgkinson show. She ran 158.51. Natalie Gould from Jamaica, 158.73. Raven Rogers, 158.77, um, who ran from way back as usual. And uh, Ellie Baker from the UK did not move on either. And then in the third uh, and final semi, it was the Athe Mu show, 158.12. Daribi would. Uh, well, Teji from Ethiopia, 158.16 a PB, and she's someone to watch. And Anita Horvath from Slovenia, 159.60 a PB. Uh, Laura Hoffman from Switzerland, 159.88, did not move on. Um, so that's going to be the women's 800 final. And I will tell you, I think it's at uh, Athingu, Keely Hodgkinson, Ajay Wilson, and Raven Rogers to spoil. Uh, and what does that mean, spoil? Well, we'll you'll have to wait and see the, the final on Sunday. Shawnee Miller-Webo, who's taken silver in the 400 meters, the last two world championships, and uh, showed that she is the top woman 400 meter runner in the world with her 49-11 victory yesterday, dominating that race. She has the world leader, Marilady Paulino. Uh, from the Dominican Republic, who many thought would challenge her, 49.60. And Sada Williams from Barbados, 49.75, a national record for the bronze. Um, Lika Claver from the Netherlands was fourth in 50.73. Stephanie Ann McPherson, 50.36. And Fiordaza uh, Cofield from the Dominican Republic in 50.57 uh, for sixth place. But it all goes to Shawnee Miller, and she is the fastest Women's 400 meter runner, especially when it's only clean athletes in the race. Uh, I'm not making any suggestions, but in Doha 2019, that was total bullshit. And that's not just my opinion. In the men's 400, uh, we use the term a race for the ages with the uh, men's 1500 and the women's 1500. Well, the men's 400 was a race for the ages. Michael Norman was challenged by three time Olympic medalist. Karani James, Matthew Hudson Smith, champion Ellison, Wayne Vandekirk, the world record holder, uh, two time world champion, and the Olympic champion from Rio. As they came off the 300, it was Karani James and Michael Norman, and it was close to the last 20 meters. Michael Norman really had to buckle down and stay focused, and he won in 44-29. Karani James, 44-48, adding another medal to his illustrious career. Matthew Hudson Smith was overjoyed and did a victory lap, and people absolutely loved his performance. He's the new British 400-meter uh, record, national record holder. And I, got, I saw him um, get a, uh, uh, a hug from uh, Mr. Rooney, the the metal four by 400 meter dude and Martin uh, who is retired. And uh, so that was kind of cool. Our uh, champion Ellison was fourth in 44, 77 Wade Vandekirk fifth in 44, 97 and Bapori Nadori from Botswana, 45, 29 and sixth. Wade Vandekirk said that uh, as a world record holder, he needed to be in the final. And it was true. And then Wade came back from his injury in 2017 is miraculous uh, getting back to this level. And I'm really happy to see Wade there. What a nice guy and just a class act. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the women's 400-meter hurdles. What an event. Last month, Sydney McLaughlin ran a world record of 51.40, breaking her previous record of 51.46 from the Olympic Games. And I commented that at the second hurdle and at the 10th hurdle, she looked exactly the same. Her level of energy, her focus, Sydney told everybody after the um, semifinals where she ran 52.17 that um, she was going to leave it out on the track, and she did. Um, she got out and made up the stagger by the 200 meters. She was bowling everybody away. She had, by the sixth hurdle, 
she had a meter lead. Then it was two meters, then it was three meters. She ran 50.68, a time that if she had run it for the flat 400, she would have qualified for every final in a Diamond League meeting last year and this year. 50.68, breaking the world record by nearly eight tenths of a second. The crowd of 21,000 was on its feet, screaming, cajoling, begging her to run faster and faster, and she did. And she looked as great over that second hurdle as she did over the ninth. She was getting tired by the time she hit the 10th, and she sprinted with all her might and then sat down for about eight to 10 minutes. She couldn't get up as they put the medal around her. She did a great presser last night. We have her complete race, thanks to NBC Sports, up on Run Blog Run, so check it out. We also have it up on Twitter and on Facebook. But Cindy McLaughlin took the goal. Femke Bull from the Netherlands, 52-27, equaled her seasonal best in the silver. Delilah Muhammad, the defending champion, 53-13 is seasonal best. That was incredible. Fourth, Shamir Little, 53-76 from the U.S. Fifth, Britton Wilson from the U.S., 54-02. Sixth, Russell Clayton from Jamaica, 54-36. If you're not all counting, you should. Four Americans in the top six, first, third, fourth, and fifth. Does the U.S. dominate the 400 hurdles? Yes. How much faster can Sydney go? That is interesting. I think she can come very near to 50 seconds. But I'm wondering if she's going to double now at the 400 hurdles and the 400. I think she can destroy the world record at the 400 flat. Her strength is amazing. Her focus is amazing. She is 22 years of age, I believe. And I believe she could compete, if she so desires, into her 30s. It was an incredible race. It was a race for the ages. I compare seeing that world record to when Jonathan Edwards broke the world record twice in 1995 in the triple jump and took it out to 1829, which it still is now. Jonathan Edwards was in the zone. He made it look easy, and the triple jump is one of the most tough technical events in all of our sport. Sidney McLaughlin masters the 400-meter hurdles. The 400 meters is a sadist event. The 400-meter hurdles had to be made by a sadist because when you run the 400 hurdles from athletes that I've coached, they swear that hurdles 8, 9, and 10 get higher. It is the lactic. Lactic acid building up in your body and your brain is going, dear God, I want a Twinkie instead of finishing the race. 400 meter hurdlers like the athletes are some of the finest athletes in our sport. Dare I say Mindy, uh, Cindy could do the heptathlon or decathlon? Yes, she could. But we can watch Anna Hall do that because Anna took the bronze in the HEP, as you remember. And when I talked to JJK yesterday, Jackie joyner Kersey, she told me that Anna has all that it takes to be a star, and how nice was it to see an American on the podium. So we want to give Anna a little bit of a path there. But this evening, day eight, belongs to Sydney McLaughlin. Congratulations, Sydney. Been watching you since you were in high school. You are a joy for our sport. You are one of our most popular athletes. You're a good person. You're a class act. And that world record, wow, stunning. And congratulations to Coach Bobby Kersey, too, who's one of the true characters. In, he's a brilliant coach. Uh, you know, he's as crazy as a loon sometimes, but he's a great guy. Uh, he loves his athletes, but he is tough with his athletes, too. And you've got to be tough with them to make them strong and to help them. You can show them respect and be tough at the same time. And I think that's what Bobby does. So congratulations, Sydney. Gold, Femke Bull, Silver, Delilah Muhammad, Bronze. This is Larry Eater with Run Blog Run for the review of day eight. Run, jump, throw, tell someone that you love them. And thank you again to Mike Deering, our production manager from the Shoe Addicts, for managing these videos. This is all sponsored by Koros, the sports technology company, the sports performance technology company. Talk to you soon.